Hey guys, I'm Evan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm wearing my honorary Trinity College sweatshirt and I'm telling you how I studied for my Leaving Cert to get into Trinity College Computer Science. This video is kindly sponsored by Exam Revision, but more on that later. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like these kind of videos and subscribe down below if you want to see more. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So yeah, basically I am studying Integrated Computer Science in Trinity College, which was the year I went in, I'm going into second year now, so I just finished first year, and the year I went in on, it was 560, I think. Uh, I got 590 in the Leaving Cert, wish it was 600. Let's just round it up and say 600, okay? I'm not sure when I'm posting this video if the results have already come out, but I'm really hoping that the course has gone down this year because 560, I think, is just huge. I, it's, it's a massive number. So, starting off, I want to talk about... My study method really was writing notes. I religiously, for every topic in every subject, wrote notes on and had massive binders like this one full and full of notes. And not just like ugly notes, like they were very pretty notes and I would draw pictures and diagrams and they were very aesthetically pleasing. People might think that that is a waste of time, but personally, I am quite a visual learner, so writing these notes, literally just writing them, because I know what I'm writing, it's just going in my head. And that really was my main study method. After all of my notes being written for every topic, I would literally read over all of my notes, over and over, and I would read through. I would have a ton of exam questions, like, in this binder. But basically, I just have exam questions, and I have all the questions written out, and the answer. And so when all my notes were written out, I would go back and read through all of my notes and all of the exam questions. And for some reason, that's how I studied. Literally writing with TV on in the background, I'd be watching like Breaking Bad. That was my method of studying and for some reason it worked very, very well for me. Everyone is different, so take what I say with a pinch of salt, but definitely try it out because it worked wonders. I know most people would already do it naturally, but you really do have to, you know, see the course that you want see how many points it is and see how reachable that is for you. Like you have to calculate how many H1s you need, how many H2s, etc, etc, and see well like where can I get the H1s from, like what subjects, blah 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 blah. And it is necessary to do that because you can't just be like, you know, I'll try my best in every subject and hope for the best because you might not make up to that standard that you think you will. My aim was really to get a H1 in biology, chemistry, physics and maths and that was my top priority. English and French I wasn't very good at, I actually didn't even sit English and I got a predicted grade in it. French I sat, did very very badly, but luckily my predicted grade saved me extremely. But those two subjects, no matter how much time and effort I put in, they just weren't my kind of thing. But I knew that if I could get my H1 in those four other subjects, I would be doing fairly well, because the other two subjects, my grade sort of stayed at the same one, so I could sort of rely on that. You definitely do need to do this because, especially for me in maths, I, I was actually failing maths in, in fifth year. <laughs> so I knew, well, I'm not going to get my course at this rate. I needed a H4 to get in the course. I ended up with a H1, but I, I needed the points from that H1. You can't just work really hard. You know, if I worked really hard in maths, I'd maybe come out with a H3, but you need to figure out, well, I need a H1 in this, so you have to get a H1 in this. You have to work your ass off. It's, none of this comes easily, especially, you know, some people are naturally really intelligent and that's great and all, but for most people, this does not come naturally and you, you know, you really have to work for this. The Leaving Sir, 90% of the time in most subjects is a memory game, and I know it's very controversial to say, but it very much is. So you need to figure out a way of you to remember things. Maybe not maths is not very memory orientated, but everything else is. Although I'm saying, you know, learn everything off, it's a it's a memory game. You have to understand everything because let's say you learn off a certain question and you know it off by heart, then it's asked differently, slightly differently in the exam and you haven't a clue how to answer it. That's a problem. Especially with the sciences now, I don't have any other experience with other subjects, but for biology, chemistry and physics, you have to understand everything that's going on. Especially chemistry and physics, you can't blabber, there's just no room for that. You have to understand everything that's going on and why it's happening, so that if you're asked a question slightly weird or slightly from a different direction, you're able to answer that. No matter how many questions you have to ask your teacher, how many YouTube videos you have to watch, Whatever, you have got to understand this before learning it off. That is the key to any science, maths, anything like that. I also just want to thank Exam Vision for sponsoring today's video. Exam Vision are an amazing website full of loads of Leaving Cert and Junior Cert subjects 
and courses on them that include bite-sized videos on every single topic in the subject, literally every single topic. Quizzes, H1 standard notes, PowerPoint presentations. All of this content is created by teachers who were previously state examiners, so you know that it is all centered around exam questions and things like that. You're able to track the progress through your website and go back, rewatch videos, do it all at your own pace. Really when you compare it to a regular grind that we get weekly, a grind is usually 50 or 60 euro a week. So with exam revision you are saving so much money and also so much time because you can do it at home at your own pace and rewatch it as many times as you like. If I was back in the leaving cert I definitely would have used their notes to write my own notes because you do need a basis to go off and seeing that their notes are all written by state examiners I know that I can trust them. They also have this thing called Saturday Sessions which every Saturday on their YouTube from 11 to 12 they have a one hour free weekly grind so you can test it out, see if you like it. If you like their style of teaching, which is also suited to like every kind of learner, then you can go and check out their courses. You can use the code LNC20 for 20% off any of their plans. So yeah, definitely go and check out Exam Revision because God, if I was in the Leaving Cert, I would have loved to rely on them and they are just an amazing tool that you should definitely make use of. Although studying in the Leaving Cert is obviously the most important thing, taking time off is also huge because you can burn yourself out so quickly and this is a long, really, to your process. So you need to take the time when you want to take the time. I personally would usually take off a Wednesday evening. I would usually do absolutely nothing because we would have for a half days on Friday. So there wasn't much that needed to be done for a Friday. And I would take off Friday evenings as well and do nothing. And I loved it because I knew Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, worked hard. I got those two little days off. I had a great study weekend and do the exact same thing all again. You need that time and you need that rest because you really will burn yourself out. So yeah, that's pretty much all how I studied and all my techniques and how I studied to get into Trinity, studying integrated computer science. If you have any questions about computer science or Trinity or the Leaving Cert, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram or leave me a comment down below, whatever suits. I'm definitely thinking about making a video about my course um, if people are interested in that because people might want to know what's involved in the course. It's a very difficult course, I'll tell you that right now, but very rewarding as well. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye!